Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. So in this video I'll be showing you how you can create filterable galleries in Divi using Divi Supreme filterable gallery module. Now Divi Supreme is the most popular Divi plugin out there with 60 plus Divi modules and 8 extensions. So let's take a look at the galleries that we'll be creating. So here's a quick demo. This is how it's going to work. As you can see, it's pretty neat. We have a load more button over here. We have different kind of examples. Like this, we have the pagination option. We also have this kind of design over here with text below each image. Another load more button. And then we also have this overlay option. So you can show content on Im image over. And we have another demo over here. So this is what we will be creating. And to get Divi Supreme, you can follow the first link in the description of this video. It will be an affiliate link and you will be helping me out. So let's get started. Now we are in the dashboard and we have Divi Supreme Pro installed on this website. Now before we jump into the Divi Builder, we will have to set up the images in the dashboard first. For that, let's go to Media and Categories. Now this Categories option will only show up if you have Divi Supreme Pro installed. And now we can create categories over here that will work for the filterable gallery module. So let's create our first gallery and give it a name. And we can also give it a description over here, but that's not necessary. So let's add the category over here. Let's add two more. All right, so now we have these three galleries over here and let's head to the library over here. And I have a few images already uploaded over here that we can assign to those categories that we created. So let's first add these images over here. You will need to open it up. And here we have the attachment category option and click on it and we can select the category that we want so in this case let's go with sports car and yeah we can also add more categories like this but in our case we just need one and it's already added we can go back and add four other images as well just like this Alright, so now all these images have their categories assigned and we are ready to head into the DV Builder. So I have this page over here and I can add the module anywhere on the page. Let's add below here and search for filter able and here's our module. Let's add it. Now we have two options here. You can either select the images manually or use the dynamic images option and then you can select the categories that you want to show over here okay so the bicycle isn't showing up let me see all right all the categories are now showing up perfectly fine so it's just a number of images issue let's put a hundred over here so that all the images show up Okay, so this is our filterable gallery. As you can see, it's working pretty much great already. Now we can start customizing the gallery. So first off, we have the number of columns option over here. You can choose how many columns you would like to display. And four looks good to me. And we have the image size option. Let's uh, choose a higher size. So the images appear in high quality. And then we have the column gap option. As you can see, you can add a gap between the columns and then the row. Uh, I like it in the default setting. Okay, so here you can change the speed of the filterable gallery, how fast it will change when you filter through the categories. So let's have it around 500 
so this will be milliseconds okay I think 400 is better yep that looks much better and here we have the layout option card and overlay uh, we'll get back to it in a bit let's go to the elements section over here now you have the option to disable the filters as well simply disable it from here and the filters will be gone this is useful when you just want to show a gallery so I'll just keep it on then you have the option to sort the filters and then you also have the option to disable the all button from the filters so the all button will not be shown next up we have the show title caption description options and these will be helpful when using the overlay layout we'll get back to it in a bit so let's enable lightbox and if you click the image it will open up in the lightbox like so and then you can choose what you would like to show description caption or title let's have title turned on and then we have the show pagination option and now it is helpful when you have a bunch of images you can either show a load more button or numbered pagination so let's keep that on you also have the option to use zoom on hover this adds the zoom hover effect under the configuration this is where you can set up the images their order number of images and images per page so you have the option to change the order of the images ascending or descending and the number of images and images per page you also have the option this option when you have the pagination turned on so let's say I want to show only five images per page then, then it will only show five images and I'll, I'll have to click the load more button to see more images let's keep it 10 and then in the pagination you can control either you want to show numbered or load more button let's uh, go with numbered pagination and that looks good okay so now we can go to the design tab over here and start customizing the module the images and the filters so first off we have this title caption and description options these are useful when using the overlay type so now we can uh, add some styling to the images under the image panel let's go and add some rounded corners to each image something like this let's also add it over here we are seeing a white background uh, you can remove the white background from over here all right so in the image you can also add some box shadow some border as well something like that I like it without the border and the shadow so next up we can go to the category tab over here and you can customize our filters over here so let's uh, let's change the color of the inactive background color uh, customize it a little bit something like that and the active color can be black inactive color let's change that to something a bit transparent something like that an active color text color can be white we can add some padding over here and then change the font We can make it bigger and scroll down we can add some rounded corners five pixels and you can even customize that for active and non-active tabs here we have the active tab rounded corners let's let's say we can show 10 pixel over here and this will only work for active filter tabs let's uh, remove that because the 5 pixel for active looks good and you also have the option to have a border for active items in our case we don't need it and then we can add some box shadow to the active item 
something like that looks pretty good all right next up we can move to pagination over here and we can apply the same colors over here from the filters All right, that looks good and similar to our filter tabs over here. So you can also customize the load more button from here if you are using the load more for pagination. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now let's get back to the layout option that we have over here as overlay. We also have the option to auto height. So the overlay add a equal height option to all the images over here so you can enable the auto height and it will work as masonry style again but if you want equal height you can disable it and adjust adjust the height however you like so let's go with auto height and have the hover style fade in or you can also have zoom in something like this let's have fade and transition looks good now currently there is no content showing for the images this is because you will have to add that in the back end in the media library so let's go back to the media library over here and open up an image this is where you can add your content so i'll just quickly add something over here So this is the title and description added for this image and you will have to do this for all the other images as well. So I'll quickly do that. Alright so I have added the title and description for all the images and now we can show this description and title for each image so let's go back to the builder over here and quickly save the changes and then i'll refresh the page so that it can fetch the new changes from the media library okay so let's open up the module settings go to elements and enable the title and description option and as you can see we have our title and description showing up now let's go to the design tab and title and here we can customize the title let's change the font and color make it bold and 25 pixels and also customize the description all right that looks good maybe we can decrease the size of the title yep so now if we go to the overlay tab over here this is where you can customize the overlay color you can make it full black or have it transparent like this you can add some padding this will be added to the content over here this will move the content to whatever you like so one final thing that we can do now is you may need to add a link to each of the image over here so that it goes to a unique link when you click on it for that we can go to the media library again and open up the image and over here you can add the link and it will only work for the DV Supreme modules and whatever link that you assign for this image will work in the filterable gallery. So this is where you will be able to assign the link in case you need to. And that is pretty much it. So this is how it works. As you can see, it's pretty great. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope it was helpful. 
So yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That would mean a lot to me. And you can get the DV Supreme plugin from the link in the description. And I'll meet you in my next video. Till then, have a great day. Peace out.